This is a new antenna concept. This is a beta evaluation unit of a spool antenna. The Parks Infed Halfway 4010, 40 to 10 meter antenna, all on this spool, uh, created by Robert KO4HUI, which you can see his uh, call sign right there on the unit. Serial number five. <laughs> There we go. He sent this to me as a test and evaluation, asked me to make a video about it, which of course I'm always happy to make videos about new antennas. He should have these debuted in production at Hamvention of 2025. So let's take a look at this antenna and see how well it performs here at Galveston Island State Park today. All right, we're gonna roll this out and it's got a big, good sized rubber band around it that holds everything in place. So make sure not lose that especially in this freaking wind out here. So right out of the spool is some paracord wrapped in with this connector right there and dual wires. There's two wires coming out of that, as you can see. So I'm wondering if this thing has a counterpoise with it uh, or no, no, it doesn't. He just got it wrapped back in on itself. Okay, right there. So there's about an extra foot, foot and a half of wire wrapped back in on itself right there and he's got it zip tied down. Again, this is an evaluation model. This the production model may or may not feature this, but we're going to we're going to see what happens with this. He said it was about 60 feet, which seems kind of short to me. Uh, most of the infed half waves that I have are 65 to 66 feet. 66.6 feet is kind of like the technical place it should be, but at the same time, it really depends on the temperature outside, the elevation you're at. How much salt water is near you because that makes a difference the ground minerals in the soil around you whether you're over concrete blacktop grass sand everything makes a difference so it doesn't doesn't matter so let's uh let's spool this out and see what it looks like this is going to take a minute to unwrap this so i could do it a little bit quicker like that i guess so i'm going to unwrap that and i'm going to put it on so this is the pota 33 I paused the camera, walked over, and grabbed my spider beams mast. This is a spider beams 10 meter, 32 foot. And I absolutely love the spider beams mast. I have the, um, this is a 10 meter, I have the 7 meter one, and that's the one that I typically will use. But look at the size comparison between these two. And they're about the same length, this direction, but look at the diameter comparison. And this one's 32 feet this big honker here, and this one's 33 feet. This is actually a foot longer. Now, this one's gonna hold more weight in a stronger wind, which maybe I should put this up today, speaking of this wind, but I wanna use this one just because. This is a great mast, this spider beams, nothing in the world wrong with it, but if you need something that's lightweight, uh, you're taking it on an airplane or maybe in a backpack, it's gonna stick out the top of your backpack, this might be the solution. So this is the one we're gonna use today, and I'm going to string it because you guys probably know this already. It's just like the POTA 20 mast that I've done a video on. Several other people have too. This top part here kind of pulls the loop at the top out so you don't have to lose the top of the mast inside of the, inside of the casing here. And it's got a eyelet on the top there. And that's where we're gonna attach this antenna to. So let me get that strung up and uh, don't wanna lose this either. <laughs> Get that strung up and see what it looks like. All right, it might be a little bit heavy for the POTA 33 mast. <laughs> hey, if you can't test it, then it's not worth having. That's all I gotta say. So the only problem with it being like that is it's not up quite as high as I'd like it to be. It's not a big deal. I don't think that mast has is gonna have any issues whatsoever. And of course, that's the direction the wind is blowing anyway. So I've got it all strung up and <laughs> it's bent over pretty good. It's bent over good, but not that bad. Fiberglass is pretty resilient. I've certainly had my spidery mast built or bent over that much in the past, but we're going to try this today just because I want to. That's why. All right. So we've got this set out right there and I've got it fed pretty much on the ground. Now I know a lot of people say don't feed an infed half wave on the ground. I have done it numerous times and had very good success with, with it. So it's about, it's actually about four or five inches off the ground right there, the way I've got it mounted to that stake. The entire line comes off of the spool and then this part here is a tension relief so that you're not pulling on your connection here. And then it has this banana clip that plugs in right there. And of course the coax is fed out of a BNC connector. So the spool acts as your, your 49 to one ballon 
or, or in uh, unun, I guess. So that's the that the spool is the matching unit itself. Forty nine to one for a 40 meter in fed half wave with it strung all the way out. But this tension relief is really good. You see all this, there's no tension on this part right now, which is good. And of course they, he included some ABR RG316 coats. So I know it's already winning because he's done a very good choice of coax for that unit. And the coax has a little choke on the bottom of it there. So I've got it brought over here to the table and I've got my stick pro from rig expert sitting right here, which is my favorite meter. I take this meter with me just about everywhere. USB-C rechargeable. You can save 5% off of this meter and all everything else from Rig Expert with the coupon code of KC5HWB at my Gigaparts page. I'll link that in the description below. But if we go to multi here, it's going to read it for about 10 different bands, which I thought was pretty cool. I've already done this, obviously. It's counting down at the bottom. 8 of 10. Okay. So let's just start at the bottom here. All right, so we're at 1.21 to 1 at 7.074, which is basically 1.2 SWR at the 40 meter FT8 frequency. So that's, that's pretty good. We're not gonna get on 40 meters today. It's, uh, it's actually 2.3 to 1 at 30 meters, which is not terrible. And with a tuner, you could certainly tune that in. The uh, antenna itself is not supposed to be resonant on 30 meters. So that's like an added bonus if you have a, a radio with a tuner in it. 1.08 to 1 at 14.117. And that's pretty good. I checked the higher sections of the 20 meter band and it's still really low. So that's looking good there. It's uh, 2.09 at 17 meters. Again, a bonus band. It's not really supposed to be resonant there anyway. One almost flat at 21.399, which is a perfect uh, section of the 15 meter band for generals. I operated from this park yesterday, sitting at that bench right there with that uh, Tar Heel little HP Pro antenna, and I was activating on uh, 21.300, and having some, I made 115 contacts yesterday on 15 meters. I was really excited about that. So this would work beautifully where I was yesterday. 2.1 on 12 meters. Again, you could tune that in. That's a bonus band. It's not supposed to be resonant on 12 meters. It's actually 1.35 just above the 11 meter band. So you want to put this on a CB? There you go. One almost flat at 28.8. Almost flat at 28.8. Now, I'm going to get on 10 meters here in a minute, and that's the band I'm going to try to activate today, and I'm going to show you what the whole 10 meter band looks like there. Uh, 2.7 on 6 meters. Could totally use that with a tuner. And then 1.7 at the 440, the 70 centimeter band. So that's pretty good right there. Again, those are bonus bands. This is supposed to be 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters. A four this is a four band antenna, and I'm getting usable 10 bands out of it with a tuner, with a tuner on the ones that it's not really supposed to be resonant for. So let's go here to the 10 meter band, and I'm going to go down here. That's the 25 megahertz wide. 28.850, it's one, it's almost flat, 1.02 to 1. So that's really good there. We're gonna go down to 28.3, I'm gonna change it to 10 meters wide instead of 25 meters wide. 28.350, it's 1.2 to 1. So 28.3 to 28.5 is the uh, technician portion of the uh, 10 meter band for single sideband for technicians. So that's, that's beautiful right there. 28.55, 1.13 to 1. So that's a very good SWR for the technician for the single sideband portion of the 10 meter band we can get a little bit more granular with it like that 28.400 it's going to be 1.19 to 1 so that's a beautiful swr so i'm not going to touch that i'm going to leave it just like it is we're going to get on 10 meters and see what kind of contacts we can make now if you're interested in getting your ham radio license go check out hamradioprep.com you can save a 20 percent discount on all of their courses, including their MCOM course, which is excellent. An excellent place to practice setting up a portable station for MCOM is at Parks on the Air, and that's what we're doing today. Check out hamradioprep.com, save a 20% discount on all their courses with the coupon code of Jason20. Thank you for supporting this channel. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, Honolulu, Washington, Bravo. Roger, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, also 5-9, thank you. Uh, yeah, 5-9 in Texas. Could I get your call sign once more, please? Yeah, Roger. Uh, this is uh, Future Papa 5, stroke Whiskey 1, Delta Echo Delta. This is Jason, right? Yeah, Roger, Roger, man. Uh, looks like you got a great signal in Galveston today, buddy. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, 
this is a vacation uh, <laughs> down to Turks and Caicos. Ten watts. station was already set up, so it's, uh, it <laughs> promises to be a fun time. I didn't have to lug any gear in Pelican cases. Well, good deal. You're uh, you're definitely doing it, and I'm. Uh, I was calling CQ a, a few uh, a little bit below your frequency there. I'm not getting anybody. I'm running ten watts in, into an infed half wave out here. Uh, you're doing great with that ten watts. I mean, you're a true five nine down here. Sounding good. All right, buddy. I'll let you get back to you. Good to work you on the air. Seventy three. Thank you, Jason. Here is Victor Papa Five Stroke Whiskey One. I'm cut. Okay. Delta. All right. Ten watts works. Cool. <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo, calling CQ Parks on the air from Galveston Island State Park, US 3013, calling CQ Poda and listening. Kilo Echo 4 Zulu, Uniform November. Kilo Echo 4 Zulu, Uniform November, great signal, 59. Hey, 53 November, Charlie, thank you much. Copy 53 in uh, North Carolina, 73, and thanks for the contact. QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, Parks on the Air. November Victor 4 Tango. There we go. November Victor 4 Tango, 5-7. Uh, That's 5, seven. Got you five nine here in South Carolina. Okay, good deal. Thank you for the 5-9. I'm running 10 watts on a IC705 and not having much luck, but uh, hopefully the band is picking up. So thanks for the contact. Yeah, I tried uh, looking for you when you were on, on 10 meters, but I didn't hear a thing, so glad to see you moved. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the feedback on that. 73. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Whiskey 3, Whiskey Delta, Yankee Hotel, Papa. Uh, the Whiskey 3 station? Whiskey 3, Whiskey Delta, Kilowatt. Whiskey Delta, Kilowatt, 55, five, Pennsylvania, QSL. Copy 55, five, Pennsylvania from Whiskey 3, Whiskey Delta, Kilowatt. You're 59 into Texas. QSL, QSL, thanks for the report. 73, have a great day. 73, thanks for the contact. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Kilo Delta 9, Yankee Hotel, Papa. Kilo Delta 9, Yankee Hotel, Papa, 59. QSL, you're 59, Chicago, Illinois, India Lima. Thank you for the 59 in Illinois, appreciate that. Running 10 watts from an IC705, 73. 73. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. 10 meters just wasn't liking the 10 watts. If I, put, if, I, if I fired up the FTBX 10 right now, I bet I could get some 10 meter contacts, but it's all right. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo Parks in the Air. November 4, India, Lima, Echo. November 4, India, Lima, Echo, 5-9. Uh, uh, QSL 55, 5 and 5, Florida, 7-3. Thank you for the 5-5, five, five, Florida, 73. Okay, successful POTA once again. These potas at Galveston Island State Park are always fun. I really like this park. I really do because it's on the salt water, which helps with your propagation. And it's seven minutes from our vacation rental house that we have down here. So I wish I had a park seven minutes from me at home, but whatever. So today I was, you heard me, the first station I contacted was um, Victor Papa 5 station. Now he was a Whiskey One Delta Echo Delta and he was on vacation down there, but he was operating as Victor Papa 5 down at uh, Turks and something. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I'll put an overlay here of that. So that was the first uh, 10 watts into the infed half wave antenna, and he gave me a 5.9. Now, 10 meters, I, I made one other contact on 10 meters. One guy operating at three parks in Canada, Canadian park to park. Can't ever complain. The only time I've ever done Canadian park to parks is from this park right here. Galveston to Canada. I've done park to parks a couple of times. But then uh, 10 meters was just kind of rough today with 10 watts. So I switched over to 15 meters and uh, was easily activated the park. I got 11 or 12 contacts and then I switched over. And right now I'm running FTA WSJTX on the same, on, on my FTDX 10 on the same antenna. Now I had to turn the power down. I'm running about 45 watts on FT8 right now because the antenna is rated for 100 watt single sideband. In the instruction manual he gives you with this, this is, uh, and I said at the beginning this is a beta version, it's not a production version, and I'm gonna, this is a feedback for him. It says 100 watt SSB comma 50 watt, and then he left off whatever it was. So I assume that means 50 watts digital or 50 watts CW, maybe 50 watts on both, I don't know. I just went ahead and, and went safe, I turned it down to 45 watts on FT8, which is plenty of power. And I've probably made about another 20 or 25 contacts on FT8. So spool tenna, successful test, successful test of not only the spool tenna, 
But the POTA 33 mast is still bent over like a fishing rod. People drive by over here and they're like, what is this guy fishing for? They think I've got a, a, a fishing line in the water because <laughs> that's what it looks like. But that's been up there for probably an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Been tinkering around, making videos, letting the computer run FT8. Uh, did some sideband contacts. I tinkered around with some wind link a minute ago as well. So successful POTA with the spool tenna. I will get as much information as I can about this product, but if you're planning on attending Dayton Hamvention of 2025, check this out. Very cool piece of kit. Thank you, Robert, for letting me borrow it, and uh, you're doing a great job.